Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to add ribbing to the end of your project. So you're adding the ribbing after you've completed your project. So this is being added to this piece here and it is different from the front and back posts that you can also use for ribbing. That type of ribbing gives it more texture but also makes it thicker. So I like this ribbing because it's a little bit thinner and I, in my opinion, it looks a little bit nicer. So usually when you're adding ribbing, you go down a couple of hook sizes. So this project was worked with the USK, which is 6.5 millimeters. I've dropped down to a USI 5.5 millimeters. All right, let's get started. So grab a stitch marker and you're going to chain as many chain stitches as you want for the length. I'm going to chain 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's how long it's going to be. Maybe I don't want it that long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to go with eight. You're going to work into the second chain from the hook. Here's the first, there's the second. Working through the back humps, so the back side. Work one single crochet. And then in each chain stitch, work one single crochet all the way back to the base here. So this is what I'm going to call the base. I have one more stitch. So here's the very first stitch, which is going to count for this one here. You're going to work a slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. Okay, so we're skipping this, one, two. So work one slip stitch in the next two. Okay, there's the first one and the second. Okay, so the stitch marker is going to be placed into the next stitch here. Okay, so when you start working in this direction and you come back, that's the very next stitch that you need to work. Yeah, that's usually the hardest uh, stitch to see when you come back. So you're going to turn your work. This stitch here and this stitch here is your slip stitches. So this is the first stitch you want to work into. So insert your hook into the back loop of that stitch. Okay, just the back loop and work one single crochet. One single crochet. Okay, and then into each stitch across, one single crochet in the back loop. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So count your stitches because you can get lost here um, in this section here. So I have seven stitches, chain one, turn. I'm already turned. You want to work back into this direction and you're working in the back loop still. You're going to work all of the ribbing in through, in through the back loops. Okay, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I want to make sure I always have seven single crochets. So here is where we place the marker for you to work your slip stitch. Now, if you look, this actually looks like a spot that you would work into, but that's actually the one you just worked into previously. So you're going to work slip stitches where this marker is and the next stitch. So one and two. Okay. Place the marker in the very next stitch and then you know where to work your slip stitches when you come back to the base. Okay. Turn. Again, this stitch here and this stitch is your slip stitch. So into the next one, 
one single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay it's easy to miss a stitch or add stitches if you don't uh, count your stitches so I'm just going to repeat that back and forth you don't need to use the stitch marker um, if you don't need it I just thought that might help some of you folks that are a little newer to uh, crochet okay so that's my seven stitches and the next stitch here where my stitch marker is is where I work my first slip stitch so one and two okay place your marker back into the very next stitch whoops okay and continue on skip the first two slip stitches go into the next stitch and then work one single crochet through back loops all the way across okay so here are a few rows that I've worked back and forth and then you can just continue on working repeating those steps until you're done with whatever project you're working on all right thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button so that you'll be notified every time I post a video I'll see you next time